Just to clarify, um, last time we got to a certain event, I believe it was the Russian roulette style game, although that would not be the best term to describe it. It would be just a uh, predictable pattern style game. Um, I said that, well, I haven't seen this before, so I guess to the got, got to the part I haven't seen before. Um, so that's not entirely true. Um, maybe about a year or so ago, I watched somebody um, play just the first part this game before I said, oh, well, I should play this myself. Oops. Um, but it wasn't continuous. Like, I saw about up to the inter character introductions continuously, and then I started skipping forward. So a lot of what I saw in the previous episode, including that, um, the gun puzzle, and the putting the dart in the, the, well, the gun and shooting it, even though it was, like, where the pound, anyway. Um, those, I hadn't seen those, but I think I have actually seen some events that come a little bit later than how far I've gotten. So I'm not actually out of the woods as far as spoilers are concerned. Um, but hopefully I can get through that in this recording. We'll see. Um, it's going to be shorter than last recording. Here we go. Um, so, we just got out of the game room. I don't believe there's anything to here anymore. I tried to go back into the blue room and, and it gave me this message, I don't have any business here. So I guess I decided to close off the room by that means. Let's go back to Central Hall. Dispositions of these characters have changed. These three are chatting calmly. For example, I had seen um, Mishima lying to Kana before. That's something I had seen. Anyway. Glad you regained consciousness, Kana. Thank you very much. Sorry to worry you. Kids don't gotta be all respectful. Let your feelings out as they are. Yes, thank you very much. Reko, it seems that you're enjoying yourself too. Okay. Maybe we can go to the torso again. The door gives me a bad feeling. You going, Sara? Yes. Open her up. Okay, let's inspect the torso. Clothed doll torso leans against the wall. Let's search elsewhere first, Sara. So I guess we're going with Joe as opposed to Beanie Kid, who his name I don't remember, um, this time. Well, I guess we're going to go to the game room then. Both water and soda cost a thousand yen? Wow, that must be... What must that even taste like? Water. Is there a shortcut for move? We check the text files. Um, what's it called? Read me. Nope. Okay. Bar. Okay, not game room bar. That's what I meant. What? You've got a quiet look. Boof! No, that's nothing. Hey, once you get out of here, let's play together, Jin. Uh huh? I'll beat you up in video games till you're crying. Woof. I guess that's not what he meant. Open the sliding door now. Alright, let's open it up. The sliding door open. That was one stiff door. It's dark behind the sliding door. 
Well, that's useful. Maybe there's some clue in there. Just like a sand into the darkness, what says and pulls out a mannequin piece. Obtained a cigar cutter. I think I saw this online once as a tool for cutting c cigars to smoke them. Why are you even looking that up online? Don't smoke, Sara. Oh, that was Sara's line? Do I look like I would? Oh, more importantly, there's something bigger in the back. Oh, right, what's this? Obtained a right leg. There we go. Wah! Looks like one- looks like this one's a doll limb, too. Take it, Joe. Why are you so calm? Okay, so you got both legs now. A torso. A head. And one arm. Unless that was, like, a, just a lower arm. Like a Hebrew hand. Let's see Mishima take our cigar cutter. <laughs> Professor Mishima's inspecting every inch of the room. Please tell me if you need anything, Miss Sara. Oh, what is that? Oh, you mean a cigar cutter? Oh. Oh, you mean a cigar cutter? Precisely, it's a tool used for smoking cigars. You won't be smoking, will you, Miss Sara? Of course not, obviously. Oh, well, uh... Uh, can I, can, I, can I take it? Uh, Professor Mishima, are you going to smoke a cigar? Out of the question for a teacher to smoke. As long as you're an adult, I think it's fine. Hand the cigar cutter over to Professor Mishima. Okay. I have to get into the kitchen, I presume. It won't let me go in there anymore. So talk to Raiji again somehow. Feel a breeze coming from above the dartboard? Yes, I already read that. Doesn't seem like an air conditioner or anything. Look at the red door. The red door is still shut. Won't open, huh? That's the room where we did Russian Roulette. Okay, well... Oh, this is baffling. Mishima smoking, I guess. Yeah, 
a Alice, all ice, Kai, Kazumi, Kaiji, Shunu, okay, Shunuke, Sao, who's the, uh, the beanie boy, Naomichi, Mai, Megumi, Reko, Kyutaro, Anzu, Kana, Jin, Kuji, Sara, Joe, Nao, Hinaku, and Ranmaru. Oh, okay, this advances. Professor Mishima is grinning. Oh, Miss Sara. Professor Mishima, did something good happen? Well, what are you speaking of? Oh, what are you speaking of? There's nothing indeed. Like, maybe you're happy about the cigar? Oh, a teacher like myself would not smoke. He really wants to. I want to inspect the cigar. I wonder, is that cigar really just a luxury item being provided to us? What do you mean to say? Maybe there's some meaning to it. Would you let me inspect it a little? I get it, that's true. We should investigate it closely. Mm. Let us try using the cutter on the cigar. Professor Mishima cuts it with a, with a practiced hand. Oh, what is this? Amazingly, there is a, there is a bill inside the cigar. Obtained 1,000 yen bill. Uh, it seems it wasn't a real cigar. What a relief. Smoking is bad for you, after all. Oh, uh, thank goodness, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like I went back to my normal voice on that line. He's visibly disappointed. Masara. Please take the unused lighter and this 1,000 yen bill. When I really think about it, you will likely find more for them. More use for them. Obtain the lighter. So he did intend to use that lighter. Yeah, maybe we could have, if we didn't give the, the stuff to Mishima, we could have, like, used it. Vending machine with high prices. Both water and soda cost a thousand yen. Wow, that must be. What that must that even taste like? Should I put the in the thousand yen bill I have? Yes, because you gotta advance the plot. Obtained a left arm. Whoa! Is that a doll arm? It's way too realistic. Wish they cut it out. Oh, let me hold on to it, Sara. Be grateful. Okay, now can we go to the torso? We have to use the lighter to do something. Now we can go to the pink room. Okay, head, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, there should be everything. Should I attach them? Attach to body. We're doing it? Okay, I'll call the others. Well, now we're finally doing it. Hey, actually, where have you ever been, even been? Oh, j just found a hidden room. Sao, you're okay? That's my line. Good, so everyone's safe? My heart is beating fast. What could possibly happen? I got the door open just in case. So, I'll escape route secured. Well, on to the fateful moment. Let's roll. Well, that was just slept under the rug, so that they think they found a way out. Okay. 
Taiji skillfully attached the parts of the doll torso placed there. At parts to the doll torso placed there. The right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and the head. Nothing ha nothing's happening? Wait, you smell something? Huh? Obviously, huh? Hey, is it just me or is the room going white? It's gas. Poison, not good, we need to leave the room. Let the white gas fill up the room in the blink of an eye. Very zero escape like here. I can't see anything. I can't even see past my own hands. There's nowhere to run. Are we all going to suffocate? I'm not prepared. It's not poison gas, everyone, just so please relax. Aha, good day! Huh, you're... the doll. <laughs> yes, I am the doll that you just rescued. Advanced, am I not? Oh, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, as it happens, I have revived to tell you that what is happening and support you through the trials and tribulations to come. Stay away from me, you creepy puppet. <laughs> you say... <laughs> There's nothing to fear, you say. I will offer you all, uh, whatever. There's nothing to fear, you see. I will offer you all support. So I was thinking, like, a certain character from some franchise might have an appropriate voice for this, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh... Is there no one who can speak calmly here? It's a step too far to ask someone not to be surprised when a doll starts talking. Talk to her calmly. I'll ask. Just what are you? Tell the friendly policeman, too. I'm not really following here. <laughs> then we'll begin with my introduction. My name is Sue Miley, the laughing doll. I am the doll who will guide you on this floor. My master has instructed me to guide you brave souls who have already overcome several trials to the main game. Your master, in other words, you're the, on the side of the kidnappers. So you're our enemy? Don't try and say you're not. Uh, how very serious. Stop laughing, you wanna die? I'd rather not. No, I wouldn't like to be all torn up again. I know, I just have to tear you up first. Tear us up? As a warning, yes. Let's blow someone up. What, my collar's vibrating. <laughs> Anyone will do. If it'll make you quiet. What did you do? What indeed. Hey, answer me. Oh, very well. I'm just making your collar explode. <laughs> huh? No way, what? Get off, get this thing. Get away, get away, it's dangerous. That was a lie, of course. Did you enjoy it? A lie. Joe's knees gave out and he collapsed on the floor. That color can't actually explode, after all. It's so funny, I can't even talk. She's out of her mind. She's out of her mind. Oh! Out of her mind, or not human to begin with. But it seems we should do as she says. You don't know, do you? That's for you to... That's for you to speculate on as you play the game. That's what I'm about to explain. In is in regards to... What, what I'm about to explain is in regards a fight you must take for your own destiny. You will soon undergo a great trial in order to escape outside. As it has been prior, the superior will live and the inferior will die. It is far from easy. Among you, 
one among you will certainly die. And the person to die shall be decided by your own majority vote. Eh? I'm saying that you'll pick it yourselves. The one most unnecessary, hated, unacceptable to have die. Stop talking nonsense. Like we're gonna do something like that. <laughs> and by all means, starve to death here, all of you. Whoa, just laying it on the table? So unlike Dongon Rampa, there's a starve limit, except there didn't, well, uh, I, I, no. <laughs> not entirely, anyway, pick one of us. What is she saying? I can't comprehend. Well, you see, it's like Dongon Rampa, except no one murdered anybody. You just gotta vote for someone. You just pick someone. <laughs> Not one of us can speak up anymore. We would kill one of these people stuck in the same situation who had who we considered allies. Or else we would be killed by them. Why doesn't this feel real? Because not. <laughs> Don't go so pale, everyone. I've got something good to hand out. Something good? My head won't work. I hardly understand what she's saying. <laughs> Here, Sara Shidoin. Have this tablet. Obtained a voting tablet. <laughs> Does everyone have one now? Let us test the functionality with some actual use. When voting, if you if you know who voted for you, it turns into a quarrel, doesn't it? Thus, by voting with these tablets, you won't know who made that vote. Who made what vote? As a test, try voting for who, uh, whoever. I can vote for myself? Sorry. One vote. Because I, I, I have, although I haven't seen this part before, I'm pretty sure where this game's gonna go with this is just the person with the most votes just dies. <laughs> like it just happens right here, right now. One vote. Kaiji. One vote. Yeah, these guys all voted for themselves. Kana. One vote. Kutaro. One vote. Sal. No votes, which is odd. He must have voted for someone else. Reko. One vote. Now. No votes. Oh. Kai. One vote. Jin. One vote. Mishima. Three votes. Yeah, everybody voted, to, voted for themselves except, like, Rao and Sal. They probably both voted for Mishima. This game never is going to say who voted for who, but that's what I would guess. Results. Most votes, Mishima, three votes. Oh my, it appears to be a bit one-sided. <laughs> so, this is a tablet for voting. Uh -huh. Is there something you want to say? If you were a human, I suppose there would be something like cease this if you have a heart. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not. A pity. <laughs> More importantly, are you sure? Hmm? <laughs> do you really want those as your last words? <laughs> What are you doing? I thought you knew. I mean, you were asking to seize this. It won't explode, will it? <laughs> no, it won't explode specifically. What did you say? Professor? <laughs> Hot. We'll do it more slowly. Color was visibly changing color. Ah! It burns. Prof 
Professor! Professor! Professor Mishima. A smell lingered in the air. A smell I'd never experienced before. The smell of human flesh burning, and the sound of blood evaporating. Take it off, take it off, old man. Take it off, take it off, old man. Did I do the big no? Now I'll save myself. Stay away. Professor Mishima pushed now away. And with that, he fell backwards in front of Kana. Help the professor, the professor's going to die. Don't, if you touch that collar. And then the professor stopped moving at all. Professor! Oh, she peed herself. I picked up on that sprite. Yeah, okay. How unladylike you let yourself- Oh, then it says it in the text. Okay. Why would you do this? You've learned what a majority vote means from this experience, haven't you? So this is the event that I've seen. So I think I'm in the clear now. That was the event specifically I was thinking of when I said at the beginning of this recording that I was waiting for a certain event to happen. Awful. So I don't really- I don't know what happens after this. This is too awful. It wasn't an instant pain. He was burning at links, and unable to even rise, he died. Everyone! Everyone's a good person here! How can you do this? What did we do? I won't let this stand. Hehehe. <laughs> you annoy me, you powerless little girl. No. You sister killer. Yep. Stop. I... I saw all of it, how miserable you were in your first trial, Kana. Don't trample on her. Well, I'd say he had it coming. I mean, you're supposed to tell the truth, no matter what. And when you don't, it always comes back to haunt you somewhere, sometime. Might be not necessarily by a very deterministic mechanism, such as the doll, everybody just happening to vote for you, and you get your neck fried. Your actions killed your sister. Yeah. Forgive me. The hand with the frying pan must have slipped. And apparently there is blood inside the doll. You little... So even dolls bleed red. Don't think you can do this and just get, get away scot-free. On the contrary, I ask that you may think you are getting away with so little as this. I will have you pay for toying with people's lives. I'll remember this. I'll be waiting on the grounds of the main game. Are you alright? I don't understand. Professor Mishima's death. Nor who Kai is. But... Even if what awaits is us killing each other by majority vote, however cruel the future it is, so maybe Kai is like a secret agent, I can't. I can't go dying yet. Title screen! Now, Miss Now, oh, you look pale, Miss Now. Professor? I... I feel like I'll never pass. <laughs> Miss Now, what's the matter? Exams are away, are ways away yet, and I'm sure you'll be fine, Miss Now. I can't, if I fail, I, what'll I even do? 
Please, this is very generic. I'm busy driving. Maybe I'll swallow a bunch of mud and die. It seems you feel quite cornered. Er, Miss Now? To tell the truth, I failed my college exams. You, you did, Professor? Yes, indeed. I had grades as good as anyone's and more or less serious lifestyle. I put in a perfectly good effort, at least I believe so. However, when some, where some will pass, others will fail, there's nothing that can be done about it. And being more conceited than the average person, I lashed out at everything. However, people can always improve themselves. So, Miss Now, what do you suppose gives people the impetus to improve? Oh, a rather mature point of view. I mean, it's the most relevant to the game, right? Yes, for the most of the student's life at its school, life is at... for most of a student's life is at school, or just taking a step outside, you can realize what a small community it really is. Your worries can appear much smaller that way. Well, in this case, it was time. It required an above average amount of time, but I regained the courage to face forward. And such is why now I enjoy my time with you and the rest of the class. Though I failed, I gained happiness. The dream I had pictured did not come to pass, but the reality I found was much like a dream. Professor? There's nothing to fear in failure. A person's life does not end there. As long as you live on, happiness will surely come to you. Or you just get fried. <laughs> like so. Professor Mishima is dead. Because of our votes. Despair falls over us. We keep our distance, now alone since near Professor Mishima. How should I sort out these feelings? I can't think of what to say to now. No, don't say anything. Now is sitting by the professor dumbfounded. Professor Mishima in a pool of blood. I'm afraid to come any closer. Suddenly, as I look towards the exit... She got us! Sao? Miss Sara, look at this. Sao silly closes the door to the room. There's a message here. Read it, Miss Sara. The second trial, practice round. This is a practice for the main game. The start is signaled by the doll's revival. Follow instructions and hold the majority vote. The one with the most votes is to be sacrificed. However, this is a practice round. If the votes come to a draw, the game is forfeit. What? The second trial. It's named just like the first one we did. We never noticed this note. It's... It's all because I said to keep the door open in case there was danger. We were clearly led into doing so. This room had an enormous air, even before entry. The game's forfeit if it's a draw. Then don't tell me... If everyone had gotten the same votes, then there'd be no victim, is that right? You're kidding me! So he died for nothing? It was an avoidable trap. If we just checked the door. Professor Mishima. I'm worried about now. It's just a lie, right, Professor? Please, please, get up. You can do this. Everyone's worried. Professor? Now weakly shook Professor Mishima's body. And 
his scorch, fragile neck fell. Professor? Oh, don't touch that. Now, the old guy. Don't look, Jin. Stay away. Who voted for Mishima? Shut up, you eyesore. Huh? I mean, it's because of the votes he... It's always possible someone voted for someone's sides themselves, you know? Oh, everyone voted. Settle down now. Listen, everybody, don't do, don't do any probing into each other's votes. But, we voted without knowing a thing. No one had any ill will. You know that, right, Sara? No, I, like, what would you think it would do? Sara? Right, you've got a lot on your plate too, huh? I'm gonna go cool my head too. Just let me be alone for a sec. Joe staggered out of the room. And the others, some left, some stayed. They all began to scatter their own ways. Now is sitting by the professor, dumbfounded. Jin, I know how you feel, but you shouldn't be here. Just a little longer, you know. It was just for a little bit, but we were searching together. Boof! They all need time to think right now. So do you, Sara, and me too, of course. I'm sure everybody will come back. Kai is staring directly at the kitchen. It is locked. Perhaps there's nothing to be done. Oh, uh, now, now that isn't very nice. I just want to cook for everyone, that's all. Granted, I doubt there are any ingredients in the kitchen. How stingy. Is this person really my stalker? I thought if he was the stalker, he'd be with the kidnappers. But when he hit Miley, I sensed undeniable hostility. Kai was angry. Miss Sara? Eh, Kai, are you? Ah. The lights. Miss Sara, are you alright? I'm fine. It may be a trap. Let us look for the switch. Something's going. Pick it up. It's a card. The one who claims this. This now belongs to you. Keep it on you always. This is the key to the exit. Let no one else know the existence of this card. Otherwise, you will die. The letters on it are glowing. The one who claims this. Right. What is this? Asar, are you unharmed? Kai dropped it for you. I hid the card before I can even think. I'm okay, it looks like the lights came on. Or, I'm okay, it looks like the lights came on. Let us look at the other rooms and see if anything occurred in that moment. Look at the bat. Look on the bat. On the back of the card was a strange image. Keymaster. The other text seemed to disappear, so what does Keymaster mean? If I don't follow those rules, will I die? I feel like I'm being led by them again.
Okay, let's go back. Okay, what is that? Where there had been nothing before, now there were stairs. Is this another trap? Look, Miss Sarah, there are these stairs here now. Wonder where they lead. I don't know, but... Miley left a few spots of blood. I'm sure she went up here. Miley? Did anyone else go up? I only just got here, so I do know. Has anyone gone missing? I can't imagine anyone would go up these stairs on their own, but... You aren't thinking of going up, are you, Miss Sara? Um, so Kai's accounted for. Tutaro's accounted for. Raiji's accounted for. Um, Jin's accounted for. Rao was accounted for. Sao's here. Mishima is dead. There's an eighth person. Reko. She's missing. So she would have gone up. I'm telling you for your own good, you should refrain for now. More importantly, there's something I want to show you. Eh? Come to the back of the cafeteria, please. A sow? I wonder what he wants to show me. Right, sow tell me to come here, but... Miss Sara, this way, this way, I'm over here. What, sow, is that you? I held the lighter in the direction of his voice. A door. Do you think this was here? Dark, isn't it? There's only the light from that stand. What did you want to show me in this place? Check what's on the desk. Familiar with this plot point? There's something placed on the desk. It's a laptop computer. Very intriguing, right? I did try starting it up. There, there's no power cord, but it seems to be running on battery power. So once the battery's dead, it's over. Want to investigate what's on it, but... Right. What is on it? I'm about that. This laptop is locked with a password. So you can't see what's stored on it? I tried some random passwords, but all I accomplished was draining the battery. You got any ideas? Hmm. Oh, that's a possibility. If it opens with someone's name, there's a good chance that they're the laptop's owner. But if it's a name we don't know, there'd be no way for us to learn it. It'd be best if we could just conveniently find a piece of paper with a password. Now that would be definitely a trap. Yeah. I mean, if we just had a hint. A hint, huh? Maybe there's a hint from the kidnappers. What do you mean? There's, a possibil there's possibly information on here that's valuable to us, but worthless to them. Solve the riddle, and we'll generously give it, give it out. If you can't, it doesn't matter to us. Like that. And we can't see it once the battery goes dead, and it's like a time-limited treasure chest. So it's like a time-limited treasure chest. I can't see them being that kind. Okay, I'm going to stay here and work on figuring out the password, Miss Sara. Tell me if you find any clues. I shouldn't get too hopeful. But do I need to have hope and keep my head up? Until the battery runs out, maybe Sal will be able to keep his head up too. They've got proper covers, but they're all blank notebooks on the inside. 
Kaichi was say, was saying there might be meaning to the ordering of the books, though. Kaichi came here too. So I guess we're gonna find the password eventually. Oh, Mary's supposed to talk to Kaiji. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, Qtaro here. Now, when this get here? Don't tell me these stairs lead to the main game grounds. Do know about that, but whatever the case, bet we gotta go. It's just gonna be a trap anyhow. What do you think, Sara? Everyone's on edge right now. If we go, we should get everyone together first. But you heard about the main game, right? We're gonna pick one of us to die. Of course, I don't want to take part in it, but how are we supposed to feel about unity? How are we supposed to feel in a unity? You might have a point, but... All right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try and believe in you. We'll go up there when everyone's assembled. Everyone tries to go up on their own. I'll catch him, but good. Please don't be rough, okay? Oh. Please don't be rough, okay? Where's that Ed Kutaro's non-voice? Okay, Reko's not here. Oh, I said to go to the bar. Okay. This is the place I haven't gone yet. A lot of this will just be like... Going through everything again. Let's go in the in the bar before we talk to Reko. Okay, here we are. Joe is sitting alone hanging his head. Talk to him. Joe, can we talk a little? Jeez, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I guess I'm just nosy. It's kind of calming here somehow. Wonder why I never had a drink in my life. Hey, Sara. Do you really think Kaiji is a cop? Eh? Joe, have you been doubting it the whole time? I mean, I just wanted your opinion, Sara. Go with the interesting answer. For real? What makes you think so? It's just a hunch, I guess. I feel like no policeman acts like that. Well, there are cops in plain clothes. I just... I don't think it's good to suspect just... Huh? So you do believe him, Joe? Me? I can't think there's someone siding with the kidnappers among that bunch. Huh? Now that's strange. Wasn't Joe the first one to suggest there was? But the more I try to believe, the more suspicious I get. Listen, Sara. Could you look into Kaiji a little? Me? Nah, no, sorry. Yeah, pretend I never asked. Because he wants to believe. He suspects. One thing's for sure. 
It's better if we know more about each other. For my own survival, too. Sara? It was nothing. What am I thinking? Leave it to me, Joe. You serious? Don't push yourself too much, Sara. And a change of clothes is fine. Strip that gaudy guy's pants off for all I care. I feel, I feel, it feels a little jarring for you to be saying that right now. Okay, find Kaiji. Okay, so it doesn't let me, let me look into Kaiji anymore. Here we go. What? Tana is sitting in the chair. This is... a doll? I can't see the pants hidden under clothes, but everything seems disturbingly detailed. Oh, the parts. On the doll's hand is written, Please use as you wish. As I wish. Take off the clothes. Even the clothes look exactly the same. I stripped off the doll's clothes. Alright, even if it's a doll, it feels awkward to just leave it here. I placed the Kana doll on a dis in a discreet spot. Sorry, Miss Doll. So I presume we give the clothes to Kana, right? Oops, I went the wrong way. Passage to bar. So, you found anything Kana could wear? I found this in the blue room. Well, ain't that the same exact uniform? Creepy. What, they got stuff like this prepared? Thank you very much. Kana, she looks even more feeble. Kana? Uh-oh. Kana moves away from you at the start. Hey, easy, Kana. Easy now, what's up? I'm sorry. Please don't be nice to me anymore. I'm afraid. Of having hope. Kana went running off. Sara, hey, what's the deal? I'm scared. I'm sure Rekka will tell me I should have told the truth then. But I... 
Sara, look me in the eye. Don't sit there and brood over. Eh? Talk to me. Or are you just not listening to what I say? I understand. Mishima said that? Cut it out, don't say that. Did you mean to hurt her? Of course not, right? Sure, Mishima was the first to lie, and I do know if that was right or not. But guess what? There was hope in Kana's eyes. You know how hard it is to show hope to a person whose heart's been snapped? Well, it's not really hope when you lie to him. Why go call him Mishima a nutty professor? Reko, Because he was a nutty professor. <laughs> Yes, it ain't fair to decide he's no good because he's a man. I get the stitch now. I'll get, I get the sitch now. The sitch. I get the sitch now. I'll back Kana up, Sara. It's what we do now that's important, right? Yes. Kana is one thing, but I'm worried about now, too. Yeah. We'll go up the stairs when everyone's assembled. Can't imagine if we'll be able to act all friendly like before, though. Back to the cafeteria, I guess. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Cafeteria. Back of cafeteria. Okay, still nothing there. Back to the game room again, I guess. Is there a figure there? The lights again. Call out for someone. Is someone there? I'm uneasy about acting alone. I might have want to head back for now. Turned around and found the door had shut. Don't open. I've been locked in. Now this is what I'm talking about. It's a bottle. There's water inside. Obtain the bottle. A large teddy bear. Box has a lid affixed with screws. Need to find a screwdriver then. Clock with no hands. Need to find the hands for it. There are books on the bookcase. The covers look proper, but they're all blank on the inside. Candle. Light the candle. Should I light this candle? The lighter ran out of fuel. A red liquid leaks from the teddy bear's eyes. Candle is lit. Seems- wait. 
Seems like it's designed so I can't carry it. Okay, let's look at the paper. Notes of some kind are scattered about. What's this note? 6.6% Alice Yabusame. 5.3% Ramaru Kajinyama. 4.9% Megumi Sasahara. 3% Kazumi Mishima. Professor Mishima's name is on this, along with some people I don't know. Hmm, Alice Yabusame? I'll hold on to this. Obtain torn paper. Nothing on the shelf. The corners of the frame are held by screws and nails. There's a box on top of the bookcase. It looks like it need both hands to carry. Hmm, just barely too high to reach. Is there anything I can use to get a boost? These. Nothing else on the desk. Nothing else on the desk. Use the box. A box with a lid affixed with screws. Why can't I just... Use that. Use the desk. I mean... This'll do. Let's look inside. Obtain two needles. These are large and long. Stick them in the teddy bear eyes. Okay. Wait, what? Feels, I feel bad for it. Do I have anything to wipe with? Use the paper? Look at this number box. There's a digital clock on the back of the bookcase. It stopped 2875. Well, that's where it's, oh. These are the hand, the clocks, the, the hand clocks. These two needles seem to be the clock's hands. The hand clocks? Wow. First, where should I point the hour hand? Well, at 20... Wait, it says 2875, right? So, that would be 4. First, the minute hand... No, wait. It's a trick. Okay, the minute hand should point to 15. Um, which would be a 3. Um, it's 2875, so it's actually 29, so it's 5. And then the minute hand should point to the 3. Good. Okay. As the pendulum started to move, something stuck inside fell out. Obtained a tool, Phillips screwdriver. So, use a tool on that. Probably open it with a flathead screwdriver, but I don't have that tool though. What? Okay. Got the box. This is a box on top of the bookcase. It looks like it needs both hands to carry. Two needles were inside there. Okay. So there's a Phillips, we don't, oh, use maybe this one. The corners of the frame are held by screws and nails. All of these are different types. Is the idea that I need four different tools to remove the painting? Oh, so I just have Phillips. Um. Do I really wipe with the paper? That would be obscure. I feel bad. I'll wipe it with the other paper I picked up. That doesn't seem very useful. Okay. The bear's tears stopped. 
Hmm, something came out of its mouth. Obtained a tool, flathead screwdriver. Okay. A box that has a lid affixed with screws. Use the flathead screwdriver on it. I'll use the flathead screwdriver. Open the box. There's another tool. Obtained a tool, Allen wrench. Okay, well that red liquid drips onto the floor. Can we now open this? We need... No, we need all four tools, right? We only have three. Where's the frame are held by screws and nails? Uh, I use the water on something. Candle. Uh. Pile of books, stable enough to stand on. There's a digital clock in the back of the bookcase, it's like 2875. Okay, I got that. Try water on various things. Do I click? Nothing on the shelf. Nothing on the shelf. Hmm. Odd. Key master on this. Oh. If I, that's obscure, if I jam a tool between the tiles, I bet I can open it up. Opened up the floor. Red liquid spreads beneath the floor. If I pour water in to increase the water volume, why would I do that? Something floated to the top. Something floats on the red liquid. We prefer to avoid touching the liquid. Obtain a tool, nail puller. Okay, now we can get all, we have all four tool, tools. The corners of the frame are held by screws and nails. Okay, I have all four tools I need, I'll remove these. Remove the painting. The wall. A single tall locker. Open it, yes. I'm getting a bad feeling. Calm down, Sarah. I'll open it. And there is a person in there. Help. What? Um, so this person walked or didn't walk in there? What should I do now? Click the man. Are you all right? He's not conscious. What do I do? Should I run before he wakes up? I can't. I don't know if he's a good person, but he said help. Then I'll take him with me. At great length, I got the man on my shoulder. He doesn't seem to be hurt, but 
I should be delicate. Okay. Oh, so. Wait, wh what's that? He suddenly fainted as soon as he saw me. Joe, give me a hand. Got it, let's carry him to the others. That was the plan. with that guy he lost consciousness I, I don't know nothing have somebody who know check him huh, Sara is that What's this about? That guy on your shoulder? Lend me a hand, please, you see. I told them what happened in the red room. Relax, he just fainted. Who in the world is this guy? He's got a collar. Would be nice. As the friendly neighborhood policeman, though, I worry about how... We haven't seen him before. That's true. Was he in the red room this whole time? Well, we saw someone go in. It'll be hard to figure out his situation until he wakes up. Maybe that person wanted just to lure you in there. As long as he doesn't move, should be fine. Once he's up, let's leisurely question him. As I felt a bit of relief, my attention unavoidably turned towards the situation in the room. Uh, Kaiji, are now and Jin still? Yeah, still the same as ever. They haven't moved an inch. Hurts me to see, too. Kaiji? Might you want to investigate? Well, yeah. It's hard, but someone's got to do it, and I just so happen to be a pro. Though this is my first time investigating a body I once talked to. Is it hard for you after all, huh? It is hard for you after all, huh? Dummy, now has got it a million times worse. Losing someone she respects, man. Um, is there someone you respect, Kaiji? Maybe there was. A message for those in the room. Please exit the room quickly to allow for retrieval of the corpse. Retrieval of the corpse? Don't be ridiculous! I won't give the professor to anyone. Defiance will not be tolerated. Beginning fog dis dissemination. That gas again. No, stop, please stop. The professor isn't dead at all. Yeah, his head fell off, literally. That now took part of Mishima. And put it in the box Kutaro had brought. What are you doing? Oh. You shouldn't do that. Oof. Please get out of my way. Now I brushed the others aside and took off running. Hold it. No. Jin, don't wait. No, this is no good. Sara, Joe, let's give chase. Please, now's lost her cool, so treat her carefully. Hell, oh, where'd she go? No way, did she go up the stairs? I was sitting in the darkness trying to think about the password. Just now and Jin, they haven't come come by here. Pink room is closed off, huh? Your Taro isn't here. Did he go to the second floor? What do we do? 
I'll search the second floor. No way, what if she's on the first floor? I'll search down here, you two look upstairs. Please, Kaiji? Gotcha. Come back right away if you find her, Sara. Let's hurry. This is the second floor, eh? Lots of doors. Where would she have gone? Large iron bars block the passage. Yellow SP door. A mirror door. A row door. A red SP door. She's not here. The statue of it looks like a penguin. I'm not a penguin. An elegant painting of Mount Fuji. There's a small sonnet in the darkness. It's not warm. A row of mirrors. Despite there being no shower, there's shampoo and the like here. Jin? Big Sis Sara. Help. Ugh. I was looking for Big Sis now. An iron cage. How can we? An iron cage. How can we? Oh, I wouldn't go touching that. Eh. Big Sis Sara. Jin. It's sinking lower and lower. No. No. Oof. I'm scarred. Help me, Big Sis. Okay. Don't touch it and withdraw. Get me out of here! Jin! The cage stopped completely buried in the ground. Ah, uh, Jin? It's not budging. What should I do? There, maybe? Huh? Yep, it's a ladder. This way, Sara. And that ends this recording. Cool. And... Yeah, I guess that's where I'll sit. I'll have to solve a puzzle here, I presume. More escape rooms. <laughs>